So you, the, to keep ahead of things, you, 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 can't, you can't stay in the same place. No. Um, um, there are still things that um, we'll continue to do because we have this um, accreditation and, and reputation that others, uh, others can't. And I think the clinical side could continue to be important. We do need to keep evolving. We need to sort of, you know, keep, um, you know, keep up with the technology, but also, you know, what it, what our customers' needs are. We need to find that out, and we need to develop the methods to offer to the customers. Because obviously, if one person's looking for a new method. The chances are that it's something that most of our customers would require as well. So, we definitely need to do that for like some of the pharma type things, ensure that we can offer all the tests in the pharmacopoeia under that sort for these different products. It's a sort of a one-stop shop for our customers to make it easy for them. I think it needs to maintain its technological advantage over other labs and it needs to market that technological advantage, make sure that people are aware of the fact that it is has a greater depth of knowledge and understanding and capabilities than other labs that it's competing with for the for the routine work. Yeah. Okay. I think uh, there's obviously just more complicated matrices to be an analyzed. You know, it's not simple evening primrose oil anymore. Uh -huh complex formulations and foodstuffs and whatnot. I think there's a lot of you know, modified foods that are EPA and DHA enriched and whatnot methods for reliably doing that and things like infant formula are where the effort has to go, I think.